on May 25th and April 24th, 2014, some newspapers wrote about North Koreans receiving eight months military training in Switzerland, including shooting with assault rifles using standard NATO ammunition. Several North Koreans were trained for a period of eight months, which has cost the rich Swiss 160,000 Swiss francs in a GCSP program costing 120 million Swiss francs for 800 participants a year. GCSP stands for Geneva Center for Security Policy and is just one more of Octagon's NGOs to control the world. Yeah, there it is, the world. It's, it's, not, it's nothing less than the entire world. And this stripe here is part of the Vesica Pites. It's the circle meeting another circle, which could be here. And if you do like this is the other part of the other circle, like here, then you get the oval. So they give one part of the um, of the Vesica Pites, which is for organization, and and so they want to make the other part, which should be here. That's that's what it means. Well, look at it. Where knowledge meets experience. Well, they got a lot of experience, eh? That's Switzerland. This is Octagon. Well, here's another one. It says impartial, inclusive, influential. Well, that's arrogance, eh? Influential. So what do they want to influence here, eh? Well, there's some more. They call the GCSP a peace call. That's why they go shooting with military assault drivers and invite all sorts of dictatorships whose dictators bring the wealth they stole from their peoples into Switzerland to the Swiss Nazi banks. I mean, why not invite representatives from other countries and play ping pong or volleyball instead of military training on firearms for better killing? If your NGO is a peace organization. Well, Swissies know that by inventing ping pong players, you most likely won't be able to lay the foundations of total control, big business and for war. And this is how Octagon steers the world and probably only invites their own Swiss sleeper agents of their worldwide fifth column. Uh, here it says, the Geneva Center for Security Policy. I put it all in the link so you can read the article, yeah. It was in more newspapers where when I wanted to film it, it wasn't on it anymore. So this one here is um, on the Stars and Stripes. Oh look, there's even no more place to put all the medals. I mean, what kind of a sick mind goes together with this here, what we can see here? Uh, yeah. This, what, what, what kind of a psychology is behind it? What kind of a character? I mean, this is sick. Yeah. Well, no doubt Octagon discusses new and old techniques about concentration camps for the North Koreans with uh, Switzerland's knowledge of the Nazi concentration camps. Well, if you have a peace NGO, NGO then why not make music together instead of army target practicing? with our images on the targets anyway. So it's clear the whole peace NGO is a big Swiss lie again. Well, do you think that in the evening they just discuss peace and some Swiss culinary specialities such as some Swiss melted dip cheese or what? It may rather be assumed the opportunist Swiss grasped the opportunity to ask, hey, we heard you had that bomb, and we don't like the great U.S. Satan either. Listen, you have the bomb, and we have a lot of U.S. tax dollars we don't want to give back. So maybe we can work something out. Like we have some Swiss, Pequena, Suiza, Nueva Helvetia territories in South and Central America, where you can install some of the launchers not far away from the big U.S. Satan. Well, what do you think? You want some more wine and melted dip cheese? 
And reality shows that the Swissies did the very same thing, attracting US billionaires not to pay their taxes in the US anymore. And Swissy has plead guilty to conspiracy for a US court this year. This is Octagon preparing World War III through their Swiss sneaky ways, just as Albert Pike, in reality a Swiss agent, predicted three world wars and Swissy is working on it, I tell you. Yeah, it says, the Swiss conspiracy. They're very, very capable of conspiracy. It's coming out now. This is not a clean country. This is what they do. They lie and there's conspiracy. You see, this is May 19, 2014. There's a lot of things. Uh, it's going faster and faster and faster. In the same week, uh, many things came out. And um, yeah, it's getting dangerous. They're getting very un unpredictable now. There are a lot of similarities between North Korea and Nazi Germany. They both like goose stepping, as you can see here. Both have concentration camps. Both leaders tell their people of how much they love their people, which is a complete tactical lie and the best way to win the people's trust. And both have the Alpine powers behind the scenes where Kim Jong-un even speaks Swiss German. And I wouldn't be surprised, surprised if Hitler did too. Swissies and their banks brought upon the Germans a dreadful economical crisis with hunger, poverty and starvation, miracul miraculously resolved by the Führer or leader whom they would die for afterwards. And they saw him as a god and Messiah, who delivered them from total misery, without understanding that these are octagons, ancient techniques behind. The same in North Korea, where Grandfather Kim Il-sung delivered the Korean people from the American aggressions initiated by Swiss sleeper agent, President and General Eisenhower, who brought on Octagon's order, the Cold War upon the world and totally misleading the American public through media psychological indoctrinations, false flags and plain lies. This is always setting innocent peoples up against each other while Octagon of the Alps making a big buck. So the, these guys are, are, are the um, from the paper the Nazis of who came to the US uh, through the paperclip um, operations, you know, giving uh, the US a very bad name and setting peoples up against each other. But this is Octogon. Same thing happening now with Russia and the Ukraine and the Russian oligarchs and their Swiss bank, bank accounts greasing the war machinery, as we can see here. Putin is just as bad as Obama, setting peoples up against each other, and fascism rising in Europe after Swiss work behind the screens. So this is the oli oligarchs, you know, greasing the war machinery. They are jihadists. They, you know, they're, they're sending in jihadists from from uh, from Chechnya, you know, to kill the Ukrainians. And well, this this is what Putin really is like. And Obama, you know, they're all the same. The whole world is ruled by these pharaohs and their Swiss bank accounts and their oligarchs. There's also like Hitler, you know, and, and Kim Jong-un, the guy you just saw on the, on the horse, you know, the big hero. There are Russians who are ready to die for Putin because he gave him some work. He did, he took some measures against queers and, you know, not, not showing their bottoms, you know, to to children like, but in fact he doesn't care. He just wants to win the people's hearts. I mean, his grandfather and, uh, or his father uh, was a cook for Stalin. He was born into the, the, this, this aristocracy. He, he's, he's part of the Tsars, you know. Wake up. So they're sending in jihadists, you know, for some money. And who want to kill some whiteies, you know? This is what they do. I mean, 
these are real slit throats, eh? Oh, yeah. So this is what Putin is like. All dictators. It's all the aristocracy. And it all comes back to Octagon. So, North Koreans come and train, shoot rifles and discuss in Switzerland for almost a year. And their dictator, Kim Jong-un, even speaks Swiss German, Octagon's language, which is not that easy to learn, because for doing so you must make a detour and learn German first. So it must be clear that Kim Jong-un is one of those Swiss fifth-column sleeper agents who speaks the mother tongue. So I'll show you the entire article. Oh, there's a lot more. Speak Swiss German, can you imagine? I, uh, I'll put the whole link in the... Uh, under the video with the links. I'll put the whole article in there. So from 1993 till 2000, that's seven years, the Korean dictator got trained and schooled in Octogon in a school in the Swiss capital of the Bear, called Bern, not very far from where we live, so I went filming there for you. You can read the whole article, put in the links. So here's some more about it. I'll show you the school here, there's the name, I'll show it to you later. And this article was in the Daily Mail. So this here is the school where the, uh, where the dictator of Korea went to school, Mr. Kim Jong-il. And this is the sporting ground where he used to play basketball. He was very into basketball, that's why uh, Mr. Rodman, he visited him, like in Korea. So this is the uh, it's a quiet area here. It's next to a quiet sort of posh area as well, Kurnitz. It's all, it's part of Bern. So, why do you, and he spoke Swiss German. You know, this is what I've been talking about. This is the Swiss fifth column. They can be Chinese, they can be Russian. They're everywhere, the Swiss. Everywhere. So he looks Chinese from the outside, or Asian. But he's not, he's Swiss. What do you think, a Korean? They, they say they hate the world and the Western world, most of all. And why did they go to a school in the, in, the, in the most western part of, like, of the western world, Switzerland? Why do they do this? You know, it's all a lie. Just like Mr. Hitler, he lied about uh, loving the Germans. Well, it's the same with Mr. Kim Jong-un and his father, Kim Jong-il. You know, they say, well, we love the Korean people and we love the German people. But in fact, what, the, what they do and what they did is like terrorizing the Korean people and the German people. It's all lies, you know. Politicians mostly say what we want to hear. You know, they're all liars, including Mr. Putin, all of them, all of them, all the politicians. They're all a bunch of liars. They tell us what we want to hear. So here, here did he go, here he went to school. He even spoke Swiss German. And you know, for speaking Swiss German, you have to learn German first. You know, nobody just... I know Germans, you know, I've been here for 20 years, they don't speak a word of Swiss German. Because it's, it's, you won't understand it. Well, the Germans do. But... Yeah, here it says basketball. This is what he used to do here in his time off. So this is how they did it, you know. Um, a Swiss woman, she marries or she gets a child with a Korean guy. The guy, he gets sent back to his country. So don't make any children with any Swiss woman. 
because there's a very big chance you would never see your child again. And uh, then, uh, so the child is going to be raised in a Swiss manner. If the child is a girlie, she's going to marry or she's going to have a child with another Korean. And the child will be already will be already much more much more uh, the child will already much be much more uh, um, Asian looking and uh, same thing again the father will be sent away never sees his child again so um, inside it's completely Swiss you know. Well, this is one of the sporting grounds. He used to play basketball. Well, it doesn't look like basketball here. It's probably somewhere else. So this is still the school. So after five generations, you know, the, uh, the offspring looks like Korean as any Korean. But inside, you know, it's Swiss. This is what they do, did in the US. This is what they did in, uh, in Germany. Always. You know? So this is the school where Mr. Kim Jong-in in Lieberfeld or Konitz, where he went to school. And uh, he left 2000. It's, only, it's not very long ago. We well, spent like seven years in Switzerland. Well, why Switzerland, you know? Why Swiss? A dictator of Korean, he speaks Swiss German. Better than English. <laughs> well, usually they don't show it. It probably came out, which I didn't like very much, you know? So, yeah, this is the, the, white, the white nigger system. Excuse me, my word, I don't believe like this, you know. So, ah, this is why he played basketball, Mr. Kim Jong-un. So he spent like seven years, or I don't know, playing basketball here. Yeah, you imagine? Yeah. And all his brothers and sisters two brothers and one sister, I think. They all went to school in, in Switzerland, in Geneva, Lausanne, and in Bern. So, he didn't even go to a, like an international school. He did in the beginning, so he completely switched to a Swiss school, where they speak like only Swiss German. <clears throat> Looks nice and clean, you know looks peaceful, but it isn't. No. You imagine, not so long ago, the dictator of Korea has been playing basketball here. I'll show you where he lived as well. coming up. Yeah. Well. Kim, can I play some basketball? Yeah. So that's where he was, yeah. Can you imagine uh, Mr. Kim Jong un Sitting here, chilling out, you know, drinking his energy drink or I don't know what, his coke. Sitting here, the dictator of North Korea in Switzerland. Yeah. I mean, nobody would choose like a, a school in Switzerland where they speak Swiss German. Well, I mean, the, the entire financial elite and nobility, they all go to schools like in in Switzerland, but they go to international schools, not a school where they speak Swiss German. They probably always have been speaking Swiss German, you know. So here's the other side of the school then. So there's the school again from the other side. 
Some nice, it's nice and green. Some nice mountains behind here. So it says to Steinholzli. That way the dictator went to school. It's a little nice, isn't it? So here's the street, Hildegard Street, where the uh, the school is there, where the dictator went to school. So this is where he lived, this here, and uh, just next to the school, probably a five minutes walk, or not even. It means the church street number ten. Just wonder if there's some more Koreans living here now, probably. So here's a wine cellar here. I don't know what it is. We have shots around. So this is where the dictator of North Korea lived. So if he turns left there and then right and immediately left, that's a school. It's maybe it's two minutes. So there's number ten, this is where he walks in. Uh, turn left here and then right and the school is there where the where the trees are where the trees are quite near and this is the big street here this one went to his house there here right and here he went to school and there were the shallies he turned left or probably some way here in between it's what well, you can do it in one minute so this is where the dictator lived Pharmacy, some friendly Swiss people. Yeah, look at them. A zombie. Cheeseburger, McDonald's, a pizza restaurant. Yeah. This is called the white nigger system. Excuse me the expression, my black brothers. Um, totally on your side so outside black or Korean in this case and inside white and Swiss so a Swiss woman finds herself a Korean have a mixed child and the Korean father either dies or gets extradited and never sees his child again which gets raised by octagon then if it's a girl she finds herself some Korean again and the same technique gets reproduced only this time the fruit of the second generation looks much more Korean that is from the outside only then three more similar generations and the outcome looks like real Korean like Kim Jong Un but the inside is what? Oh well, yes, white and he even speaks Swiss German <laughs> So it must be assumed that all the 800 participants of the GCSP program in Geneva are all the result of the white nigger system, which by the way had been experimented a lot too in the Nazi concentration camps, the Lebensborn program and surely the North Korean concentration camps. Uh, but the idea is much older and dates back to the days of Pharaoh. So you better not make any children with a Swiss, cause chances are fairly high you'll never see your beloved child again, as I had to find out the hard way. And no Swiss legal system will abide by the laws, as they were supposed to in octagon of lawlessness and Nazi Templar rule. You know, it's all about human processing, you know by uh, its eugenics and uh, having a farmed human race by the uh, by some certain Swiss laws of, uh, of modeling mankind now just look at the facts now why would a North Korean dictator speak Swiss German spend seven years in a normal Swiss school 
and send his army officers for some war and assault rifle training at some bogus Geneva NGO. Well, here he is, Leonardo Conti, the, uh, the head of the Lebensborn and the farming of the human race and, you know, doing the, the, black nig the white nigger uh, program as well, you know, and, and having total control over human bodies and making a mix and, and all sorts of experiments. And this guy was Swiss. This is Octagon. He was the Reich Minister of Health and a Nazi general. An SS general. He was Swiss, Leonardo Conti, um, having total control over human bodies and doing all all these sort of things. You know, this, this is behind um, the Korean leader uh, speaking Swiss German. You know, Leonardo Conti, a Swiss uh, Nazi general working for the Lebensborn. That's what I'm telling you about. This is the real force behind it all. The farming of the human... Uh, of, of mankind as a farmed race. Well, there he is again. Leonardo Conti and the origins of the Nazi genocide. And, and you may live, you may not live, you know. And it's all Swiss. It's from Switzerland. It's Octogon. Uh, see my other film on the Swiss sadist uh, Leonardo Conti. And the same thing. This is a, now it's all related with North Korea, and the same thing happening there. So this is in Konitz. It's real near to Kim Jong Un from Switzerland. <laughs> Sixteen hundred and ten, with the famous, like the Swiss Templars cross. So I just showed you the card was full. There's the bear, like the Blackwater sign, you know, with the uh, with the barefoot, Schwarzwasser. Uh, was that serpents? So this is in the same uh, town like, well it is all burned but very near to where the dictator lived. It's a sort of a part of a sort of castle which is there. Templars. Obelisk with the world domination and the devil. Always next to the water for Isis. Very old church. So this is all next to where the dictator, where the dictator lived. Now let's have a look at that grave there. It says Baumeister. That's a title in a uh, Freemason lodge. And Baumeister. Nobility. I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like uh, it looks very occult, you know, with the two. Pillars, I don't know what that is. Ja, ihr habt auch nun Traurigkeit, aber ich will euch wiedersehen und euer Herz soll sich freuen. So they're talking about the resurrection and the uh, uh, like life after. Baumeister, yeah, like means amazing. And by the way, Switzerland too had eugenics institutes practicing forced sterilization on young healthy people until 1996 and children's slaves in concentration camps until 1989 who were raped, beaten to death and starved to death just as in North Korea they were called the Verdinkenda. So you can, I'll put it in the links for you. 
it says 1950 or something. Well, well that's not true. They did it until 1989. Octogon has their dirty little fingers in any crime against humanity. In the past, now, and the turmoils to come.